This is CNN Breaking News. The breaking news is coming to us uh, out of Connecticut, the southwestern part of that state where police are reporting that they are responding to reports of a shooting at Newtown Elementary School early this morning. Again, in the southwestern part of Connecticut. Good morning, America. Breaking news, deadly church shooting. Tragedy in Charleston. At least nine people killed overnight in a massacre in an historic black church. I do believe this was a hate crime. The chaos unfolding in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip. 10.08 p.m., 22,000 country music fans packed in, enjoying the Route 91 Harvest Festival. But high above them on the 32nd floor of the glittering Mandalay Bay Resort, police say 64-year-old Stephen Paddock was watching. They say he hammered through the hotel's thick windows and started firing on the crowd below. Good evening, and as we come on the air this Sunday night, America is just now coming to grips with what unfolded here in the early morning hours here in Orlando. A massacre at a gay nightclub uh, right here behind me. You can see the sign. It's black and white just over uh, my shoulder here. And at the center of it all, a lone gunman who, in the middle of that massacre, called 911 to pledge allegiance to ISIS. Citywide, statewide, nationwide. So there's a chapter in every state. Um, and we have combined with, um, there's kind of three entities that, that make up every town for gun safety. Um, and that's, I'm going to forget what, Mayors Against Illegal Guns, uh, Moms Demand Action, I'm forgetting the other one. But there's over four four million members nationwide so um, but the main main goals are to have people pass a background check for every single gun purchase that is like the number one goal for moms in action um, and then I guess the second goal would be just to promote com other common sense gun reform legislation so this chart shows the total number of incidents already in 2018, which is already over 5,400. There's already been over 1,400 deaths, and of those, over 350 are of children. This map shows where most of these incidents have taken place. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get a different answer but I think gun sense is just using common sense like gun control to me means we want to round up everyone's guns and we want to take them away like other countries have done right mm -hmm. so there's some countries that you're just not allowed to have a gun unless you have um, a profession that requires it so common sense means, okay, I have this gun, I know that it's a lethal weapon, so there should be some common sense laws in place to keep us all safe. That would be the difference. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So it depends on what state you're in. And so Montana, states like Montana, Idaho, I'm originally from Idaho, um, North Dakota, Wyoming, all of these places, people really love their guns. One for hunting, but also it's just part of our culture. So you'll find that in some states like California, New York, um, that are maybe uh, Oregon, Washington state that are a little more progressive, they are able to pass a lot more common sense gun laws. And so, and um, they also have the safest um, they have less gun violence as well. So they go hand in hand. What I really like about all this stuff, which I said the other night was that there's just facts to, to back all this up. There's statistics, you know? So when you just look at the math and you, you just use common sense as far as math goes, like, okay, we put these restrictions in place and oh, wow, look, gun violence goes down. You know what I mean? This is a map that shows the states that have at least one firearm law designed to protect children in place. 
you can see states like California, Texas, Nevada, Minnesota, and Wisconsin have significantly less deaths than other states like Louisiana, Arizona, and Alaska, which have no laws in place. It's tricky communicating that because sometimes people just flat out don't trust you. They think yeah. you're lying, you know, or something like that. So, um, but a mom's man action, like right on all of their cards says they are pro second amendment. So mm -hmm. that's one thing that's really important whenever you're having a conversation, especially with a gun owner, is that we are for the second amendment. We think it's important. We don't want to remove it. We don't want to take it away. We just want everyone to be safe with the guns that they own. Yeah. And we don't want dangerous people to own guns. You know, if, if you're a safe person, you can pass a background check, you don't abuse your family, all of these like really reasonable things. I mean, when we're talking common sense, we're talking like really, really like bottom of the line common sense. Like, okay, you know, you haven't raped anyone. You haven't, um, you are not abusive to your spouse. All of these things that are like precursors to gun violence, um, that if you can pass a background check and haven't done any of those things, you know. So once you talk to people and they realize, oh, oh yeah, I don't know what the statistic is, but it's over 80% um, of Americans agree with these kind of common sense gun laws when you put it in those terms. Like when you ask them, well, do you think um, somebody with a criminal record should have a gun? Well, no. Okay. Well, then we have something in common. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know?